Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the thermal fuse and heater assembly in your wine cellar, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Your first step is to uninstall all of the racks. To do this, pull each rack forward, then lift the left side stop lever up while pushing the right side stop lever down to fully remove. Next, remove the tape covering the control panel assembly wires. Detach the bushing and disconnect the wire connector. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the four control panel assembly mounting screws. You will need to detach three or more of the rack slide rails to remove the control panel assembly. With the side rails removed, lift the assembly out. Next, unthread the six mounting screws, securing the evaporator cover. Pull the cover away from the evaporator. For better access, cut the zip tie securing the wire harness. Unthread the two mounting screws securing the wiring cover. Remove the cover. Now disconnect the thermal fuse and heater assembly wire connector. Bend the heater shield retaining tabs outward so you can remove the shield. Slide the heater forward. Cut the tape and zip ties securing the heater wire and thermal fuse. You will need to cut both heater wires to fully remove the old assembly. You're now ready to install the new thermal fuse and heater assembly. Keeping the wire connector on the right side, position the heater on the evaporator. Replace the shield and bend the tabs in to secure. Position the thermal fuse on the right side of the evaporator. Use new zip ties and tape to secure the thermal fuse, heater wire, and defrost thermistor wire. Connect the thermal fuse and heater assembly wire connector. Replace the wiring cover and secure it with the screws. Use a new zip tie to secure the wires. 
fully reposition the evaporator cover and thread the six mounting screws. Reinstall the control panel assembly by aligning it on the mounting screws, then tighten the screws. Reconnect the control panel assembly wire connector. Position the wires inside the liner and push the bushing into place. Replace the tape to cover the wires. Reinstall the slide rails as necessary. Reposition the racks. The small rack goes on the bottom. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and your wine cellar should be ready for use.